all new truck for 2024, full Monster Jam tours for 2024 revealed. All of this and more is coming up on this week's edition of Monster Truck News. Starting off with the results for Monster Truck Showdown in Astoria, Oregon. Show 1 was swept completely by Mason Mentor in Warhead XL. For Show 2, we would see Geronimo with Brandon Swick take the best trick and freestyle win, and Terry Woodcock in Cyclops would win racing. And for the All-Star Monster Truck Tour in Amite, Louisiana, we unfortunately don't have the individual results. But what we do know is John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity would win all three overall event championships. Tristan England teased fans just after the Superstar Challenge with a big announcement coming this past Tuesday. But thanks to a leak by Master Jam's newest partner, JCB, the news was revealed a little early. The reigning world racing champion will drive the all-new JCB Digatron on Stadium Championship Series East in 2024. It will make its debut in San Antonio, Texas, which is also the location of the newest JCB factory. JCB is a multinational manufacturer of construction, agriculture, waste handling, and demolition equipment. The company will be providing equipment to aid in track construction and a loader vehicle for recovering trucks at select Monster Jam events where Digatron is competing. Digatron's design was a combined effort between Monster Jam and JCB's engineering team, designed to look like their iconic construction equipment. I have to say that I absolutely love the design of this truck. However, I just have one problem with it, the name. I feel like it's very clever, and I understand it's also named after JCB's Digger, but I still feel like this name is a little too silly. Still, I love the design of the truck overall, and even better, that Tristan England gets to make his stadium debut driving this all-new truck. The question that everyone else had is what happens to Earthshaker? Well... Thankfully for fans, we now have an answer to what will happen with Earthshaker. It will be driven by rookie driver James Calhoun on Arena Championship Series West, and this is the only Earthshaker, as of currently, to be running in 2024. But there are more drivers announced for the new season of Monster Jam, as all tours now have full lineups. Also on Arena Championship Series West that weren't previously announced, we have Devin Winfield making his first full season debut driving Velociraptor, along with Berto Trevino. Also making his first full season debut, this time driving Monster Mutt Rottweiler. And finally, Manuel Solario is back and will drive El Toro Loco for his first full season with Monster Jam, also on Arena Championship Series West. For the Stadium Tours, it's just a simple switch. Baru Musawa will move to Stadium Championship Series West alongside Adam Anderson and Ryan Anderson, among many others, letting Tristan England in Digatron take the new spot on Stadium Championship Series East. For Arena Series East, Angelina Nock will pilot Megalodon for her first season with Monster Jam. And for Arena Series Central, Fernando Martinez will take the vacant El Toro Loco spot, making his first full-time season debut, along with former Monster Truck Wars driver Alex Barden, who will pilot Stone Crusher in 2024, making his return to Monster Jam since 2019. In addition to that, Frank Krummel will drive Zombie on Hooked, which rounds out each of the tours for Monster Jam. Now, I think that this is the best collection of tours we've had in a long, long time. With new battles to be fought, new drivers, lots of rookies, and hopefully some of the exciting tracks from the last quarter of this year, I truly think we have a historic and amazing season of Monster Jam ahead of us. What do you think of these new lineups? 
let us know down below. Master Jam isn't the only tour that's revealed their plans for the new year. The Yule Star Monster Truck Tour has revealed their lineup for the 2024 Monster Mash's Winter Championship Series, which reveals some very, very interesting news. The truck lineup consists of the following Crazy Train, Plain Crazy, Little Miss Dangerous, Colossus, Terminal Velocity, and Uproar. Before we mention the obvious, it's good to see the Robins back on the tour. Many are also interested in seeing Terminal Velocity on here, since many were probably expecting him to return to Monster Jam along with Uproar. Now, onto the more interesting news, Uproar will make its debut on the tour. But what interests me is why on the original graphic they have Shock Therapy. How interesting. Maybe it's because they don't want to reveal what Uproar looks like and they needed a placeholder image to show John Zimmer Sr.'s truck. No idea. Colossus seems to be either a new sponsor or new name for Sinistar, especially since recent images show a completely different Sinistar scheme from Elliot Miller's social media. What is most intriguing is Little Miss Dangerous. The truck has a lot of history being driven in the early to late 2000s by Jocelyn Perrin and became high maintenance before the chassis was sold to Jamie Garner to become the original Overboard. Now, the naming rights have been reportedly sold to Elliot Miller and will run the truck on one of his many different trucks with Athena Kazell behind the wheel. It will be great to see the return of this new truck. But what do you think of the All-Star Monster Truck Tour 2024 Championship Series? Let us know down below. Before we get to the Monster Truck 5 of the week, I'd like to promote a very special event that's for a great cause. Twisted Designs has announced their 12 Days of Giving campaign in partnership with Toys for Tots, which helps kids around the United States get gifts for Christmas and other events. I personally contributed $5 to this wonderful campaign. So join myself, Twisted Designs, and many other great creators in spreading the holiday cheer by contributing to this wonderful cause. Let's come together and make this season brighter for every child. A link to this campaign is in the description of this video, where you can donate and support this amazing cause. It's once again time for the Monster Truck 5 of the week, where we get to showcase a multitude of shows and tours that are touring the globe. While Monster Jam may not have any shows this weekend, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live will be in full effect and will have two cities this weekend. The first will be in Minneapolis, Minnesota this Saturday and Sunday and will feature Five Alarm with Craig Christensen, Bigfoot with Rebecca Schnell, Bone Shake with Ashton Jensen, Demo Derby with Ty Cornelius Jr., Gunkster with Darren Schnell, Mega Rex with Jerry Furichter and Tiger Shark with a to be announced driver. The other event will be held in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma this Saturday and Sunday and will feature Five Alarm with Cody Holman, Bigfoot with Cody Smith, Bone Shake with Clint Watson, Demo Derby with Taylor Holman, Gunkster with Eric Steinberg, Mega Rex with Mike Phelps and Tiger Shark with Bobby Holman. The Mazda Truck Nitro Tour heads to Tullaware, California this Saturday and will feature Enforcer with Brandon Gully, Playing for Keeps with Tony Canedo, Scattered with Lee Plato, Skull Crusher with Shane Plato, and Wicked Strong with Jacob Gully. The two extreme Master Truck series heads to Dallas City, California this Saturday, and will feature Bounty Hunter with Jimmy Creton, Brutal with Dan Dolgren, Hot Tamale with Mike Brister, and Shark Bite with Rob Putre. And finally, Master Truck Promotions Australia will be hosting their biggest event of the year on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. The event will mark the final time an event is held at Sunshine Coast Stadium, which will be this Saturday. The show will feature Outback Thunder with Clive Featherby, Tazzy Devil with Kazia Stevens, Scruffy with a to be announced driver, Sharpshooter with a to be announced driver, Schizo with a to be announced driver, Tropical Thunder with Michael Zureb, Devil's Taxi with Sam Zureb, and another to be announced truck and driver. I will also be attending this event, and footage from it will be available on my channel after the event, so be on the lookout for that footage. And well, that is all we have for you today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.